Hello, this is Marty Eddington. I want to talk to you today about one of the most amazing training programs ever offered. It's a training program both for individuals to improve their long-term health, happiness, and longevity, and we have options for coaches that want to become professional practitioners of longevity coaching, which is similar to health coaching, but much more expansive. So, if you think about what is big in the news in this century, one of the big overall stories is about the increase in human longevity and lifespan. And there's been articles like in National Geographic, and I think it was May of 2013, that talked about how we can all expect uh, the new babies to live to 120. But my research shows that it's a lot more potential for everybody to live much longer. Because I started my research back in 2008 on finding records of people who live well past the age of 100, 130, 140, 180, and even a Chinaman who was well documented to have lived to 256 years old. And this I found to be incredible, but the information, uh, the evidence convinced me it was true. How could that be? And what I found out is, was that there was a synchronization of spiritual, psychological, vital forces in the physical body that help people live to these tremendous ages. All of my research since then, and the training program I offer now, is based on that approach. So, I wanna tell you that it's something exciting, something that you should try, and you'll really enjoy it. Everybody who's taken the training finds it extremely exciting and innovative. And the people I've coached have said things like, this is information that the world needs to see. So if you're looking at it from a coaching perspective, it's a, it's a brand new field. We've got some longevity coaches out there, but we're just starting to build more and there's gonna be thousands. If you want a unique perspective, a unique uh, capability to offer people and make a really good living at it and help them too with their long-term health, happiness, and longevity, then you should take my training program. And the great thing about it is we also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. The price is around $1,000, there's different options depending on uh, whether you want to pay it once, whether you want a home study kit, or whether you want to make multiple payments, but believe me, for the value you get, it is uh, a lot less than comparable programs. I know of other coaching programs that are reputable that cost five to $10,000, so it's really at the real low end compared to uh, what else is out there. So I encourage you to read the additional information on this site, to think seriously about longevity uh, training for yourself to improve your long-term health, or to become a coach. And there's some links here that you can follow after this video. Also, um, after I've talked here, I've got a short video about the 10 principles, so you can take a look at what they're all about. And uh, see, just get involved, see why this is so exciting. You'll love it. So here's a list of the 10 principles of personal longevity. They are laid out in a step-by-step -step manner to go through from 1 to 10 purposefully and they cover all the areas of psychology, spiritual connection, vital forces, physical health, and intuition as well as implementation. So we'll delve into these in more detail in the next slides. Principle number one has to do with the reality of long-lived people. We've gathered a huge amount of evidence of people who have lived well over the age of 120, some 150, 180, even a Chinaman who lived to 256 years old. This information includes not only pictures, but bios, and even some videos, as well as other types of evidence. The main point of principle number one is to get people to break open their preconceptions about what's possible in terms of a long and healthy life. The second principle of life purpose came about when I was putting the 10 principles together and I realized that if a person didn't have a reason to live, then the whole rest of this wouldn't make any sense. So I put it in the second principle that we have to all determine what our life purpose is. That without a life purpose, life is really meaningless and the whole scenario of a longer, healthier life doesn't make any sense. So this is the second principle.
The third principle is enabling the life urge. We are programmed from birth to expect to go through different stages in life and then die. And I've got lots of stories that I could relate about that. But it's all subconscious programming. The idea is to change that subconscious programming with positive affirmations that we know we can live a much longer, healthier life than we ever thought possible. Principle number four is probably the most important, and that's about having a spiritual connection in your life. Because I believe that we all have a spiritual core, and this is not a religious concept, but that we all, this is all part of the total being that we are. And we can build that connection through anything from meditation to deep prayer to just walking in the woods and communing with nature. But it's important for us to have a spiritual connection in our life because that seems to bring a blueprint of health down into our physical bodies. Having love in your heart. People talk a lot about unconditional love and I used to think it was just a philosophical concept until I went through a lot of exercises in the last few years and my heart opened and it created a huge difference in my life. And I'm not talking just psychologically, but vital forces energy-wise, my heart chakra. So this is something that affects your happiness and affects your health and I think even improves your immune system. So it, having love in your heart is one of the key principles of the 10. Your energy body. From my studies of Eastern medicine and, and Eastern practices, I've come to believe that we all have different energy centers and we have vital forces that go through our bodies, whether they are the Chinese uh, Qi energy lines and meridians that acupuncture works with, or the chakras described in uh, Indian medicine and Indian energy practices. These are things that we can learn about and learn exercises for to help enhance our vital forces. The science of longevity is a key principle which includes two areas. One, there's a lot we can learn from very long-lived plants and animals because we, say we share the same genetic basis with them. But there's also a lot of research in science and medicine which is making discoveries all the time we could take advantage of to help extend our, our long-term health in our lives as well as different uh, therapies and supplements which can help increase health and longevity. So this is a very important principle too. The health of your physical body is obviously something that traditional medicine focuses on all the time. Our approach is more of a preventative approach in terms of the things you can do with your body, uh, supplements, nutrition, and those things which will help affect you positively, help your body remain healthy and have all the proper nutrition. Using your intuition for safety. One of the things I also thought about when I was putting this together was that once you are totally healthy, then what's the biggest danger to your life? And that is accidents. And through a lot of my premonition experiences in my life and even some books I've written about it, I thought this is a technique that we can teach people how to use their intuition to, to be safer. So this is another technique we teach, which is the ninth principle. The tenth principle has to do with implementing these principles in your life. A part of my career I spent as a project manager and the whole thing has to do with implementation. So we can talk a lot of theory and we can talk a lot of practices, but if we can't implement those in our life, then it's going to be a waste of time. So one of the important things we do is we build profiles on a spreadsheet of non-physical and physical profiles. Here's some examples from our non-physical profile spreadsheet where we ask questions having to do with psychology, spiritual beliefs, vital forces, and other things, and then give people a score and a ranking. And we have ranking definitions for these, these different scores. And the idea is to build a score, like an SAT score, where we can measure your non-physical health and your physical health through blood tests and other measurements, and again, give a composite health. And we're developing some services, some, some concierge support services, which will take this to the next level.